as you get a look inside the Superdome here in New Orleans. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the New Orleans Saints. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. Yeah, able to elude one tackler, but only gets this back to the line of scrimmage. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Now Gino. And incomplete on the deep ball. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. From the gun, here's Smith. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Deontay Hardy deep for New Orleans. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And some room to run now. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Jordan Brooks on the tackle. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Throwing, Winston. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. A first down throw for Winston. Open man is the tight end Troutman. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. 
A nice gain there to his trusty tight end, and now it's got them thinking opening drive touchdown here as they get into the red zone. And in most cases with your tight end, you feel like you've got a mismatch no matter who's covering him. Is it a small cornerback? Is it a linebacker who may not run as well? In any event, whatever you see, you think that tight end can win that battle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he'll take this from the 9 down to about the 7. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. To throw, Winston. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. His throw caught right around the six. A big play, but still not enough. Leads to a fourth and goal. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. Winston to the sideline here on fourth down, and Will Lutz gets set for a New Orleans field goal try. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Lutz is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but that's really they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field ready for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. A shotgun snap for Smith. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. His first catch. Good for nine and a first down. Inside handoff. Penny. And this will be a Seahawks first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Oh. 
They keep it with Penny on first down. A little joke. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So, in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On the draw, this is Penny. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Now they'll run it again with Penny. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there. And now they're looking at a third and 13. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Seventh play in this drive coming up. But a long way to go on third down. Back to throw. Smith. He gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Play fake. Winston. They'll get this out to Camaro. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top. Take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. 58 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second and five now. Winston. On the check down, he finds Camara. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? From the red zone now, Winston. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it facing a second and long situation. A 
Another try after the first down sack. Winston. And Winston lost the football. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball has squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, often, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? The kick by Lutz is good. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goals probably not what they were hoping for. Now you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this case, though, they want to be slow and steady now, but get explosive later and put the points up on the board. to kick it away. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here come the Seahawks now set to take over on offense. Last time out they had that long 50 plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Yeah, a little time? closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Penny up the middle. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We finally got the breakout from Penny that everyone, especially those in Seattle, had been waiting for. He went over 130 yards in four of his last five games, finishing with 749 for the season. The former first rounder led all players with a 6.3 yard average per carry. Penny, the first down carry. Taken down at the 42. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Smith going to throw on third and one. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Here's Michael Dixon now to punt. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. 
And their two drives thus far both led to points, albeit both field goals, so the lead just six to nothing. But the ability to move the ball is evident. Well, that's, you know, heartening, as they say, but it's not what they're about. What they're about is putting the ball in the end zone and putting sixes on the board. So if you're the offensive coordinator, you like what you're doing, but you don't love it. You've got to find a way to ring that bell. Then you can have a little self-satisfied grin. Right now, a little more determination is needed. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Kamara gets it again on second down, and he powers his way up past the 30. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Saints on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Now Winston. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 82 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Jameis to throw it. Looking for the out route. It's completed to Landry. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Even in a down year statistically, Juice Landry still produced over 50 catches to lead Cleveland in his final season there. A milestone awaits Landry, though, this season. He's almost a lock to jump into the top 50 all-time for receptions. One of those goes for a first down this time. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Back to the ground. It's Kamara. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You foresee incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Now Winston. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Winston to the sideline here on fourth down, and Will Lutz gets set for a New Orleans field goal try. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good, and this will stay a one-score game as the lead will hold at six. Now listen, now, no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got 
out to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Out of the gun, Smith. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe somebody will press it a little bit. This might be the case. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 95 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. From the 39, Winston. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 25-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there... Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part... And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Winston. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. 
And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Jameis again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because that incompletion's on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. If you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Here's Winston. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Winston to the sideline here on fourth down, and Will Lutz gets set for a New Orleans field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So that one on target, and it adds to this first-half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one-score lead, two-score lead, et cetera, but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. The Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. And now the clock reads precisely one minute to go in the half. You want to run the one-minute offense? This is a good test right here. It certainly is, and definitely not a time to think about kneeling and going into the half. This is a chance to attack a little bit, but not having to get everything in one shot either. Ten He's got a man complete! And all the way in, touchdown Seattle! Tyler Lockett, 55 yards. And the Seahawks are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. 
And with a two-point lead in hand, they may not do anything too aggressive here. Jameis now on first down. This one taken in by Alave. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Winston. Forced out to his... And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Daryl Taylor able to get in there yet again. That's already three sacks for him here in this first half of football. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. So it's halftime here in New Orleans with the Saints out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. And the Saints set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Kamara. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Third and short yardage. Winston. A throw over the middle. Take it in by Troutman. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to run. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To throw on second and six, Winston being chased out left. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Working out of the gun, Winston. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. That's be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. 
So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. On first and 10, Smith. He'll get this out wide to Penny. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, here's Penny. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. It's complete to lock it. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw again on second down, Smith. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Now Gino on first down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To the air again, Smith. He'll find Metcalf. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Smith. That completes it again to Metcalf. Showed off the juke, but still corralled shy of the five at the six-yard line. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. From the six now on second and three. Back to throw, Smith. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. Pete Carroll, none too pleased with that last call. He's going to throw out the challenge flag. Extra point now coming from Myers. And the lead is up to five. Let's go. 
after the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 22. He'll start with a give to Kamara. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They run it again with Kamara. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Winston. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. After the interception, here's Smith. Steps away to his left. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Second and goal, and Penny standing by himself in the backfield. Here's Smith. Touchdown! Noah Fant. A five-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the Saints coming back out, ready to go for this next drive. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively. Maybe these guys smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are. But what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position where if they make another mistake, you're there to capitalize on it and take it away from them. 115 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. A 
Again, it's Camara. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Throwing again on second down. Winston, Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Throwing Winston. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big call there. That brings up fourth. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Winston a give. It's Camara. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 10 yards, good for his Saints first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now. But that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Jameis to throw it. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Winston, that's complete to Troutman right side. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Kamara. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And I don't think he got there. He did not. They stop him a yard shy. 
Alvin Kamara unable to push past that yellow line. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Throwing now is Geno. Deep ball for Goodwin. And that is incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion. And that should get him off the field with a three and out. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 37. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Daryl Taylor, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, Winston. Open man is Michael Thomas. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? Winston's throw caught by Alave. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. To throw again on second down, Winston. Football, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll try and run some clock here with Penny. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. 
Again, it's Penny. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It'll be a five-yard pickup there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. On third down, Penny. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three. It leaves him with fourth and one. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Winston readies the offense. Down by 12. A minute 51 on the clock. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. On first and 10, Winston. He's got Landry, and he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. This is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Throwing again on second down. Winston dancing to his left. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game, and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Winston. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 28 yards. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? Got to go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Seahawks will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. They begin with a run by Penny, and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now they'll run it again with Penny, and he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. The Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee. Here's Michael Dixon. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The New Orleans offense set to take over. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Winston. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Winston. And making the catch on the floater, that's Landry. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise.